what is some general information that you could give uh, young founders that they could use in order to enhance their business and also their customer success management? Well, first of all, I think you need to be a good listener and you need to try and listen to the other side and uh, if somebody is giving you like a, some kind of a criticism, first, you know, our instinct is to block it, but maybe he has a point in his, in his thing. Maybe we, maybe if some one person is saying that, maybe that's just criticism for just saying, but maybe it can help you improve yourself. Mm. And the other things you have to be flexible and creative and innovative. That's why I say I'm innovative. Uh, creativity is something you need to be, has to be in you. You know, you, you can, because if you look at some point, sometimes things don't go well. Okay. So you have two, you know, you have two choices basically to go on with what you did earlier or to come up with something new. And those are the, the main tips. Uh, I would give to customer success managers and uh, you're going to make do mistakes. Just do your mistakes more creatively. <laughs> mm. You mentioned that actually in your profile and that also caught my eyes that you apply innovation to your work. Would you be able to delve a little bit more into that? Yeah, sure. And uh, it, it's a, it's basically an approach and you take uh, in part of innovation, people say all the time, innovation, innovation, it's, it's overused word, I must say. Mm. And people do use it a lot and say, we are innovated, we are innovation, innovation, innovation. And uh, also customer success managers, by the way, I've seen it in many uses. And so people are, don't understand sometimes what is customer success managers. And uh, it's sometimes, you know, you need to explain to people, oh, no, no, what I do is that. But let's go back to innovating. And part of being uh, taking an innovation approach is looking at someone else's solution for a problem and trying to implement in a different field. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll give you an example. And from, for many years, there was problems with uh, authors and publishers and they did, and they got a registration that they couldn't uh, they couldn't change the prices for books and young authors and young publishers could not really go into markets because they 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 had to to take this and this amount of money and that was how the government issued it and I, I don't know and what they did they said okay now we won't sell our books we're just going to do a leasing contract mm -hmm. with you. And that's the way they, they bypassed it. And eventually, of course, the law has changed. And of course, they, they, they did it. I'm giving an example from Israel. But of course, they did it by, they look at cars, car industry about leasing. And they said, OK, we're going to just, you want to name it differently. And this is how we're going to use it. And, Innovative is taking someone else solutions in, a, in one place and implementing it in another place. And this is where my advantage is because if I'm sitting down with one industry and they found a solution, I said, hmm, maybe these solutions can, we can try to implement in another field and it can work as well. That's so fascinating. So you almost do lots of business development because you're able to see so many different industries. And I've heard that the key to success in business is to be as helpful as possible. And you can only be helpful if you know many different industries and many, as you said, solutions to problems. A question that comes to mind for me, and I was wondering is, this is a very new kind of niche, at least from my perspective. How do you, especially right now during Corona, how do you approach different startups and how do you pitch your value? Well, basically, uh, as I said earlier, it's all comes up with one friend approaching another one and, and it's so on and so on. But sometimes it's just like, okay, if you're helping uh, one contact or one, when somebody is, even if he's not is offering you a job, but he says, listen, I have, um, I have this problem. And you say, okay, this network, we're talking about networking, right? 
this guy, which I know from my network, he has a company who solves those kind of problems. Let's do matchmaking. And mm. when once you get this 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 problem solving, he says, "Well, uh, this guy, let's say Jonathan, in my in this case, I don't like to speak about myself as a third party, but let's say Jonathan uh, is a problem solver. So next time I will have a problem in my business, maybe I'll 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 use Jonathan's services because he's generally trying to help me with my problems and mm -hmm. he's generally trying to help me with my problems then he would he will have my customers with, uh, trust to help them with their problems so i can i know i'm leaving my product and my business safely 